Hey, I'm Nathan Tabor with Handling Life. Let me ask you something. Do you ever have regret? Or do you ever have regrets? Do you know what that means? What that word means there, regret? It means to have a feeling of sadness, to have a feeling of disappointment or repentance even, to be let down, to know that you've done something or somehow you were involved in something that didn't go the way you wanted it to go to. And there's some emotions there. There's some you know, deep feelings there. And a lot of times with regret there, there's a little bit of guilt it's something that I've done, something I said, or some, you know, the way I acted, or my role in the situation that caused me to feel this way. And in my life, that has played a tremendous role in how I handle things. Because for a long time, I became consumed, literally, like, you know, regretted how I did this and regretted how I did that. And, you know, to the point, I, it, it really started to control me. It started to control me in the way that it kept me from doing other things. Because all I could focus on, all I could think about is, man, I should have done that a different way. Had I not done that, had I not done that business deal that way, I wouldn't have to be over here doing what I'm doing today. And if you're there, if you've ever had that issue, you know what I'm talking about. It's crippling. It's something that really starts to control. So a few years ago, I really had to work on this in my life. I had to work on my relationship with God. I had to start asking for forgiveness and really looking at what was the core issue there. And one of the best ways, outside again, outside of my relationship with God, that I started... Um, dealing with regret was looking at regret, yes, as you know what had happened, but really looking at why it happened and how to avoid it and then how to use it. See, if you're in that mindset, if you're in that will of where it's just I shouldn't have, I could have, I didn't, therefore I'm here today, the only way to break that is to say, okay, yes. You know, I got to admit my role here. That's a hard one. But you got to admit, I had to admit what I had done, what I hadn't done right. And then I had to look at how could I not do that again? And then how should I have done it? So if you want to move out of the regret phase, if you want to move out of being, you know, sad or, you know, being disappointed, start looking at what got you there which you probably already know that. How are you going to get out of it? And then don't do it again. Don't do that thing that got you there. If it's a relationship where it's an argument, or if it's a business deal where you were, you know, earthly, you did it a right way, but you didn't do it God's way, or how, whatever it is, whatever got you there, I have to be very careful in my life. Type A personality, push the door open. Come on, God, follow me. I can't do that. I have to get in behind God. I have to get in behind the where I should be doing it the right way, doing it with the right tone, the right attitude, the right spirit, all of that, so I get the right outcome. See, regret is normally caused by a situation where we did something that we shouldn't have been doing anyway, but it didn't turn out the way we wanted it to. People's feelings got hurt or we lost money or we lost our job or we didn't get the promotion we wanted. Now we feel sorry about it. We feel sorry for ourselves. God doesn't want us to live there. God doesn't want you to be tied up with this bondage of regret. He doesn't want me to. So really we'll be praying for you. I hope you'll pray for me. Don't get caught up in that. Work hard to get out of that mindset. Work hard to start doing things a different way. Start doing things God's way, and we'll start getting the results we want in our lives. I hope this has been a help to you. I hope you'll share it with others. Um, if you want to learn more about this outreach ministry, you can visit handlinglife.org, and I hope you will take a minute and review this podcast. 
on iTunes. I hope you'll take a minute and share it with others. And please don't hesitate to give me any feedback if I can help you in some way or if you would like you know, a topic to be covered. Let me know that as well.